Welcome back to another episode of Beer Bacon's Bros. As always, I'm Alex. We got Adam over here. We got Chris over here. No Keith tonight. He is shitting out of one hand and throwing up out the other. He has a bad case of the uh, food poisoning. Um, Jesus. That's one way. I was gonna I was gonna try to throw some like metaphor or something out there and I was like, nah, just go and do just it. Just go for uh, it. He, um, wow. better, better wishes to Keith. He um somebody tried to kill him with some food or something, I don't know, but it's that fried yeah, possum. He's, uh, yeah, he's <laughs> that fried possum, as Adam was saying. Woo! Um, don't eat fried possum off too much, ladies and gentlemen. Um, get you every time. But anyways, uh, it's just us three tonight. We're going to do a little quick beer review for you. Uh, this one's coming from Swamp Rabbit. But before we get into this beer, go ahead and make sure you're liking, comment, subscribing. If you don't mind doing it, it's just two, two a couple clicks on the mouse on the, or taps on the screen if you're watching on your phone or whatnot. Uh, but it just helps us get our name out, share our videos, let people know that we're... We're out here making stupid content, funny comment, content, uh, content, whatever you want to have at it. Um, funny comments as well. Yeah, funny comments. Um, we're just trying to have a good time, and hopefully you have a good time with us. And hit the comment section, let us know what we can do to make the show look better, or what beers you want us to try. Mm -hmm. But anyways, this is from Swamp Rabbit Brewery up in Traveler's Rest, South Carolina. Uh, this is the Honey Bunny. Mm -hmm. It is made with a, I'm going to butch, butcher the pronunciation, it's like, Weiner, Weiermeer. Weyerman. Weyerman. Yeah, Weyerman. Malt. Pilsner malt. Um, a honey malt. It's got orange peel, coriander, and it is the bee's knees, as they say, at Swamp Rabbits. So, so who is in TR? Cowboys. Yeah, well, um, my wife went there for work, and so okay, she was I like, say this. Yeah. it's not a whole lot in TR to go visit. Yeah. But. <laughs> she, had, she had to drive past TR pretty okay. much, um, so it was one of those things. TR is a pretty sweet town, though. Oh, it is, like, but like, you got to have a reason to go to TR. You don't just... All we trade like, you know where? He it's all got here. a great little honey amber look to it. I mean, like. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it does. Yeah, that's good, like. Good color. Yeah, really good, good color. Honeycomb. What's, what's the smell like? Does it smell like honey at all? Mmm. I'm just tasting like beer. I mean, not taste like it. Smells like beer. <laughs> smells, smells like, like a beer. Smells like smells a beer. Like beer. No. A beer. I'm telling you, that was. You need some oil, you good, don't make this. Okay. He's got an equal third. Yeah. Yeah. So it was a pills? Yeah. Yeah. It's a uh, light, amber. light amber beer made with Pilsner, um, Wehrman Pilsner malts. Yep. And then I would say malt. it definitely tastes more like a... Uh, like an amber water. So I think the big thing on this is that they're using honey malt instead of just actual honey. Yep. Yeah. You know? <clears throat> yeah. As far as Swamp Rabbit is actually like just a personal like top five, top ten brewery in South Carolina. Like been there a couple times, really enjoy the beers. Did you go there with PRT? Mm -hmm. Actually I went there with PRT all of about two times. <laughs> the other two times I've gone with Ben while I was in this territory. Uh. <laughs> um. Um, but they're they're actually their <clears throat> most popular beers are white ale, which we didn't get. We got the honey bunny and the cherry white ale. So um, was this four four five? Is that what? So five nine. Five nine. Yeah, the four five. Oh, okay. okay. I want sure if they put that. Um, it's not blowing me away by no means. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's very. It's a good beer. Yeah, but it's very average. It's just average. It doesn't have any of the crazy flavors. Six, five. Yeah. Get good, but not go, not gonna blow your socks off. If you didn't know what to get, this would be a safe bet. Yeah. Yeah, I'll go like I'll go six seven. Yeah. It's a good amber malt beer, but that's that's no no honey really jumping out. That's at what I'm saying. I'm not getting no, the orange peel. I'm not like getting that. any flavor profile, but it I is. I get a little bit of the orange peel and the coriander just in just a very like slight like two percent of the taste. A little is, subtle. Yeah, is that I definitely definitely think they missed the mark. More honey would have been poured on this. I mean, there's, you know, it, it's a little hard when we've done a show like this when we've done like the honeycomb stout. Mm -hmm. um, but again, I guess that's <clears throat> more of like where they use the actual honey with this yeah. is more of the. It's just a honey malt. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, I'm with you both. I, I don't think I'm blown away by this. I think a, a seven O's fine. If I was there and needed a, a second flight, maybe I'm getting this on the second flight. But, mm -hmm. um, but this is not something I'm going to order a straight up pint of either. Yeah. Yeah. So. 
Six five, six seven, seven zero. Oh. That is the Swamp Rabbit Honey Bunny. Uh, just Honey Bunny doesn't even say Amber Ale, nothing like that. But uh, yeah, out of Traveler's Rest, South Carolina, and that's a review.